Hello, I'm Robin Ince. Uh, I'm a stand-up comedian with a love of science. And what I love about the Cheltenham Festival is just you have such a fantastic mix of people that you normally merely read their books or whatever, and you can suddenly corner them and question their ideas on particle physics or evolutionary biology. So that's my favourite thing. And I think it is also fantastic that festivals like this are getting more and more popular. And even looking out today, comparing it to last year, and last year I know, excuse me, it was a success as well, but nevertheless this year seems even busier which is great for science as a whole mm. and why do you think events like this are important i think it does really excite people when they can television is, is ultimately still quite a disembodied thing when you actually go to a lecture and when you can ask people questions and, and you have and you might you, maybe you're going to, to go and see robert winston doing a lecture but you think well we're going to be there anyway so i don't really know very much about this subject but i'll pop along anyway so go and see alice, alice roberts talking about you know the Africa being the cradle of, of human civilization and, and all of, of these kind of ideas, they may well have never thought they were going to watch something like that. So I think you get people coming to see things that they definitely know they want to see, but also being surprised, and then they run off and hopefully they buy a book afterwards and then they keep reading more and more. Thank you. And what do you enjoy about being here? What, what brings you personally to Cheltenham? It is, uh, I, I find all science, it's not just science festival, you know, I'm very lucky, I get, I mean, last week I was in Cheltenham doing the Witchwood Festival with the Happy Mondays, this week uh, I'm at the Science Festival uh, with Professor Brian Cox OBE, and uh, so I, I'm very lucky to have, be constantly bombarded with, with different stimuli all the time, this weekend it will be about grand ideas and last weekend it was about, you know, drinking and dancing foolishly and then performing at midnight to a group of vaguely drunk people. So it offers, and it makes me, coming here to perform, for instance, means I ha I've had to write entirely new stuff, especially for this, and stuff that I would never do when I'm playing Glastonbury, for instance, in two weeks' time. Obviously, I'll talk about entirely different things as well. And what is the event you're doing tomorrow evening? Tomorrow we're doing Call My Bluff, and I believe it is actually being uh, put together by the original person who did Call My Bluff, so it will be a group of us uh, trying to confound others. And I, I imagine some of the scientists will know the meanings already, but I'm prepared on using various bamboozling techniques. So Call My Bluff, I think, will... It's a show that I would always love to have done if I could have done it on television. I never got the chance, so to get the chance to do it at the Cheltenham Festival is great.